Naturally, they're going to be good and bad. Enjoy our children. Family unit and church when the door door. We take our modestly seriously. We're not taking just straight, yeah. straight drugs. Welcome back, everyone. We're at Time Like This Podcast. I'm Natalie. And I'm Ashley. And we're your hosts. So, um, we're going to let y'all know the, qual <laughs> the qual uh, quality, the, the voice, whatever, the we audio. Audio. The audio. That's what I was looking for. Uh -huh. Our mic stopped working a few months ago. I mean, a few they stopped working on my phone. I couldn't get them to connect to my phone, so we've been using Natalie's phone, and now it stopped working on hers today yeah, for so whatever you guys reason. Have suggestions on what kind of mics we yeah. should get, which we would want to upgrade yeah. them anyway. We want something that just catches like our voice without as much background noise, because as you all know, our children are here, yeah. and sometimes you hear them in the background more times than others. So anyway, if you have any mic suggestions, please send them our way. And we want them to connect to. A cell phone. Yeah, yeah. Because like some things are like camera connection, maybe. I don't know. That's what we use with our phone. Yeah. And we ain't. Uh, yeah, we're not quite. Well, thing that just goes by things can yeah. So we'll get there, but just plenty. <laughs> this is just the start of season yeah, one. It's so. not over yet. Um, anyway, but anyway, we're gonna let y'all know that. Mama. Yeah. Um, um, in other news, we figured we could kind of go over a little bit on our. Odyssey. Yes. So listening. if you're a fan of Odyssey, I hope you've been listening to the new album that came out. And my husband did not like the first one <laughs> because I had any. Yeah, I was like, it was okay, wasn't my favorite. My husband didn't really care for that one. I think it was fine. It just kind of, it was kind of like one of those that you throw on, I guess, kind of. Yeah. Um, it's not something I'm gonna keep listening to all the time. Yeah. So what do you so far? What do you think the about that? The second one was about uh, Emily and Zuzu. Yeah, that one was okay. Yeah, was Sometimes good. the Mori and Zuzu's are a little bit weird. Like yeah. you have to, I almost feel like I have to be listening to other episodes to get what's going on. I don't know. I'm always like slightly <laughs> confused. Even my, my sister called me. And she was like, "Hey, did I miss something?" Because Mr. Whitaker was like, "I knew about the escape room." Yeah. And yeah. like we was like, when did he say he knew about it? Yeah, I you heard, heard him yes. say he knew about yes. it. Yes, it was in. Well, the... there's something like I know everything that goes on in my shop. Yes, okay, that's it. Yeah. Was like the Rydell stories. Is yeah, so when he found, he I was don't like, find that right new. Yeah. Sometimes I get a little confused. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, I kind of, I was a little um, upset that he kind of knew, and like I was kind of like her. didn't let her you, go through. Are you with Emily on that one? I'm with you? Emily on that one. I, I mean. I can see his point too, because he kind of explains it a little bit on that one episode, but I'm like, I'm still kind of with Emily, because I would probably be bad too. <laughs> yeah. I think I still prefer the Emily Matthew duo than yeah. the Emily and the new people duo, like the Zuzu and Maury. Yeah. I feel like Maury's up to no good. I don't know what his name is though. Something about him. Yeah. What? Now, what the big thing is now, what do you think about Eugene's voice? It sounds the same it to me. It sounds pretty good on it. It does. Um, my husband could tell a little bit of a difference, like when he went down, like when he was talking, it was fine. But like when the the guy that's playing it went down, you could tell it wasn't Eugene. Like when he, like like when he went lower deep, pitch. Yeah, the lower. Yeah. 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 But when I first heard it, like listen to him, I was like, I don't know what's this. He was like talking on the phone, and I'm like, oh man, I hope this isn't it. But then like when he's in person, yeah. it didn't sound quite as bad. But I, really, I couldn't. I can tell a whole lot of difference, so I hope you guys uh, kind of... So I'm wondering if, because they're saying like he has the opportunity for this new job in a new state, did they say in the episode he's going to be here full time, forever, or is he just like for the next few episodes they're going to use? Now, I I don't, I don't remember what the podcast on the Pokes on the Family mentioned, but I think it was for this episode he was going to be in it um no but you don't know about yeah her yeah because i'm kind of curious part part one uh, of four. four so yeah so i was curious like what we'll they was to planning to do like this would be his exit if he leaves the yeah. show for good yeah because he's like get out of job get out of the job opportunity. yeah no. but also i mean there's stuff happening with buck and jules so we don't know what's going to happen with that you guys so anyway we're we're I'm excited to find out what's going to happen because I'm kind of rooting for Buck and Jules, even though, you know, both of them in the audience, they're not Christians. Yeah. But, you know, like, I am team Buck and Jules. Like, yeah. I didn't see any other option for yeah. Yeah. be together. But in other news, um, Ashley, do you have your in-laws in? Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> and so my children are not here today. <laughs> I texted her and I was like, last, late last night, and I was like, hey, 
like, would you be interested in watching the kids while mm -hmm. I do my podcast? And she's like, absolutely. <laughs> See, they're going to be here for a week. Most of you all know because she's, I had her on the podcast before, but yeah. if you don't, they're evangelists. So we haven't even seen them since. May, the first of May. So like when they come in, they just like want to eat up the grandkids because they don't get to see. Like I Facetime them, we Marco Polo them all the time, so that, like my kids know them and they like talk about them. Mm -hmm. But as far as them being here to get to do stuff with them, so they get to do that. And then I don't know about Wednesday, so we'll probably see them, but I don't know if they're gonna watch them. But then Friday they're gonna take us up to the zoo. Oh. They told me I could come, but I'm kind of like I'm kind of like thinking that I'm like, just, yeah. And I think Friday night they're gonna spend night. Like, Thing. They might have and Monday, Friday, and be like, we need <laughs> 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 right. to work. No. I guess it's good, but they're one and two. So it's up. Your anniversary, too, right? Like It was last week. Oh, it was last week. Okay. But they come in to do that for okay. anniversary. Yeah. That's why. So she's yeah. celebrating her anniversary. Five years. <laughs> Five years. That's now. awesome. Well, by the time you guys get to see this, her family, her in-laws will be gone. But my, my sister's also coming this week. So oh, yeah. we'll have family okay. in. Are you going to get to stay for services? Um, yes, Thursday. So she'll see, mine will be in Thursday, and then, okay. So actually, you're gonna be hearing this on Sunday. Yeah. And so if you hear this and you want to come to church Sunday night, my 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 father-in-law <laughs> will be preaching. So if you yeah. want to hear my father-in-law preach, come Sunday night. <laughs> come tonight. Come to church tonight. Yeah. Oh, I also want to add in before we jump into our episode today, a girl at Mexican Sunday. So stop me and let me know that she listened to it. I would mention her name, I don't know if she'd want to be shouted out or not, so we won't mention her. Yeah, but anyways, not. you know who you are, and I thank you so much. It made my day. I and it also made my day. day. But yeah, I texted her as soon as we left the Mexican restaurant, and I was like, oh my goodness. I got so happy. My yeah. husband rolled his eyes. I know, and I was like, and she did it in front of my husband, which made my day so much better when people say in front of him, because like sometimes he's all like, you gotta go record your podcast. I'm like, yeah, people like it too, so yeah. thank you so much. Um, and also, there was a lady uh, on Instagram that mm -hmm. messaged us. And she also shared our podcast, She's, so we yes. thank you for that. Oh, yeah, she shared it on her story. Yes. Yeah, yeah, she yes. shared it on her story. So, so we, we love that. It. Yeah, thank you for that shout out. Yeah, so today the topic we want to talk about is kind of like our lifestyles of Pentecostals. Mm -hmm. And what we kind of want to talk about is like the things that we think as Pentecostals that we do really well, and then some areas as Pentecostals we that think we should improve, should improve and grow. Yeah, you know, every day too. And so, I'm gonna go ahead and put a disclaimer in here before. Anybody said this, we are understand that not everybody, like if we say, at Pentecostals, we are doing this well, and you're like, oh, I know a Pentecostal family that's doing that terribly. Mm -hmm. Yes, because we're a huge group of people, so naturally yeah. there's going to be good and bad mixed in there. People mm -hmm. claim to be Pentecostal and live this way, and then they don't have it in their heart. They're right. not acting right. Yeah. And we're going to say, hey, we need to improve this area, and you're like, I'm Pentecostal, and I'm great at that. Okay, we understand that. We're just, mm -hmm. from our perspective, what we... What we like, yeah, have. experience or experience like maybe what ourselves or we're seeing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's just, that's just our take on it. So yeah. we just want to go ahead and put, throw that disclaimer out there. We realize that not yeah. everybody's got it together the right. way we're talking. So right. anyways. One thing as Pentecostals, I think that we are doing really well at that overall is we are very family oriented. Yeah. Very family oriented. Yes. That yeah, that's the word. <laughs> like very, yeah. Yeah. So like as a group, like we focus on our family. So that's, we try to do it biblically, but most of it's like we have children. We're very involved in our children. We yeah. tend, we don't tend to like just throw our children off. Like we right. love them. This, yeah. We love our, the family structure. So we're like, that's our, the way we want to do yeah. stuff. I think we're doing that well. Like most of the times, you know, a woman will stay home with her, their kids. Um, the husband will go to work, but not to say that, you know, some people can't always make it in one income, you know, but yeah. for and the like, most part, it's family. Like, mm -hmm. And I think too, like even though that, like, even if you're working, I think we enjoy our children. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not saying that we don't have moments that we're stressed we're out. Stressed we're stressed like, out. We're stressed, we, yeah. we gotta have yeah. a moment right. to ourselves or whatever. Mm -hmm. But in general, I think most of us are saying, yeah, we want children. Mm -hmm. We love our children. Yes. We want to spend time with yes. our children. Yes. Like the, I don't every day. I don't wake up thinking, man, I want somebody else to come to take my child. Right. Yeah. Or and my husband the same way. Right. Like we he comes home and he comes home to us to like yeah. play with the kids to yeah. spend time with the family. Yeah. Whenever I'm planning a trip, my, that's my thought. Yeah. Okay. Like how my husband going to enjoy this? How's the kids going to enjoy this? It's not like I'm not that there's anything wrong with it, but I don't typically try to plan a trip saying. I just want to have a solo trip by myself. Right. Yeah. The same thing. Yeah. I think majority sure. of us are the same. Yeah. Way. We're Especially like, once you like you have kids and stuff, you'll be like, 
functional. Yeah. Like, what can you do with all the kids, you know, through, even if it is like a trip or something. Yeah. I know, like, that babysits for someone, and she's like, everything, like, she's saying she's going to go do something. She's like, can you keep my kid? Because it's not really going to work out with her being there, and it won't be. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, because we plan things around our children. Like, oh, this is not safe with the kids. We're not coming. Right. Yeah. If, if my kids aren't invited, like, if Natalie says, hey, let's do a podcast, but don't bring your kids, I'm going to be like, hey, I'm not showing up. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, like, we plan everything around our kids. Yes. Not... No, the opposite way. Like, and like, even a lot of people do like homeschool their kids because they mm -hmm. want to be very involved yes. in every aspect of it. Not that there's anything wrong with sending your kid to public school, yeah. Christian school, whatever you sure. I mean, my husband do. was public school. I was too. I went, I public went school. to public school for a little bit, then went to Christian school. So, I mean, it's... yeah, we, I went to public school my whole life. Yeah. But they're just like, we see that value yeah, of Yeah, we see the value of kids. Especially nowadays. Oh my goodness. Can you yeah. imagine like just sending your kids somewhere? I mean, I understand you can't afford, you know, either homeschool or um, Christian school, private schools, but I couldn't imagine right now sending my, my girl to public school because of the way things are going right now, you know? Mm -hmm. But, um, but yeah, we are a family unit and it's it's awesome. Yeah, like, even I, in the church. Yes. I do gotta say, in the church, it is, our, well, at least our church, it is very family driven. Or, yeah, driven. Mm -hmm. Like, we you know, we help our elders. We, we, you know, just, we, oh, yeah. You mm -hmm. know, just kind of like, even people that are not related to us, we still want to be a part of them, want to be, you know, that, to make sure that they're taken care of too, mm -hmm. you know? And so, what, like, our, as you mentioned, our church, we have, like, family nights, so it's, like, mm -hmm. we even have a family, we do family camp once a year, yeah. which is very different, I think, than most church camps, mm -hmm. maybe not church camps, but, like, a lot of churches will have, like, uh, well, most, most church meetings, when they have them, or throw these camps, it's, like, service in the morning, service in the afternoon, service at night, which is fine, that's what they're focused on, I have churches, but when we have it, the family camp they only have services at night mm -hmm. and the day spent with your family yeah correct yeah correct. i haven't been about that's how yes. the, that's yeah. how it is it's yeah. the activities with your family so i mean yeah. there's activities going on all over um but they're for the most part like there's one big service and that's at night and uh it usually lasts up to three days the one we're involved with mm -hmm. um but yeah like there's others that like you said it's three services and they might have things going on through there but they might have three services through there and you know they may be going a whole week i don't know but yeah but yeah so like i think that that's what we do well mm -hmm. we we focus on the family yeah <laughs> podcast focus on family. but yeah we try to focus really well on the pot family and then it feel, our church is pretty safe like you don't feel so uncomfortable yeah around like letting your kids get that which we don't do it at all neither of us say mm -hmm. yeah just go to the bathroom by yourself oh yeah but yeah. like sure. uh you know like it would just it's a safe it's a safe for place that you like even if you did have like you did or even if you didn't have the time or just like at the moment you don't you couldn't take your kid to the bathroom. You could be like making sure, leaning over and looking in the bathroom that she went in, knowing that some nobody's gonna hurt them. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah. So we're so um, and not that say that that every place is that way. Yeah. But oh yeah. Anyways, yeah. For sure. Yeah. But but and as a whole, like mm -hmm. let's go back. Yeah. Generally speaking, there might be two bad eggs in a yeah. thousand. Yep. But we're doing that. Yeah. Well. But I mean, I, like family oriented. I feel like our church is pretty good about that. Sometimes, mm -hmm. like. I don't know, like, for example, for my granny right now, she's doing all that stuff. Like, she's struggling, too, with, like, my grant situation with all this cancer and stuff. All, a lot of the women pulled together, gave her a basket, and I think they gave her some money or collected money. Other people wanted to give money instead of items, and it was a blessing to her. It, it overwhelmed her that she cried, and I believe that, and this is just, a blessing but I think it whatever they gave uh, I, I don't know the amount but whatever they gave uh, it was enough to pay off like their truck oh wow and she really wanted to pay that off soon and that was a blessing oh, so wow. her trucking car is paid for 
you know, she don't have any car payments anymore. So that was a huge, huge blessing for her. So that way she don't, she don't have to keep making payments and she can just keep that money to go to something else. Yeah, that was another thing I was going to say that we're really good at is as a community, like we're mm -hmm. a community. Yeah. Like we yeah. focus on our family, but then we focus on ourselves as a whole. So yes. like one of us was going through something, mm -hmm. we try we to do that. Try to tie together and mm -hmm. do that. And that's we've done that so with different yeah. okay, like different situations. Oh yeah, yeah. Throughout the years, yes. if somebody's going yeah. through something, people people will kind of find together and kind mm -hmm. of just help them out in whatever way you can. Yeah. You so know. that's we're doing that really well. Hopefully yeah. That so that was that's good. Um, another thing I feel like as far as us. Uh, the, like the lifestyle of Pentecostal that's good, that's really got working for us, I feel like, is really going to church as like often as the doors are open. Yeah, most most Pentecostals are pretty faithful to yeah. going to church. Yeah. Yeah. So most people Pentecostals will be at in at church when the doors are open, whether mm -hmm. it be revival week whether it be just sundays or thursdays you know or wednesdays for anybody that does church on wednesdays um but for the most yeah part, and i know like everybody has like a church like a person at church and like well they just show up when they want to yeah but the majority of the congregation we are there faithfully like yeah there's people going on vacation or whatever oh, yeah, but yeah. like i know that natalie's going to be at church every night like right. I don't even think about her yeah. just randomly like oh, and if like me, if I'm missing she'll probably be like where are you at tonight yeah and like you like, you notice when someone's not there not you're like there. oh or, and oftentimes our pastor even mentions like oh so we got a bunch of people going um, on vacation this vacation. week or so and so sick yeah like he does mention that a lot like, he does so mention so, that so, like, so if you're, you're not really seeing them but yeah we're yeah. right as a whole mm -hmm. a lot of us are very faithful yeah, there very faithful showing up being stretched on which can affect like other people. Yeah. If you're going to church, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you're here in the church and you're yeah. at church. You're like you miss church all the time. You're like, you're like well, you struggle. You know that more. he wasn't coming or she wasn't coming yeah. already. You know. So. But yeah, yeah. That, you're right. I think another thing at Pentecostal that we do very well is we're dressed modestly. Yeah. So if you see any of our women out in public, you're not going to be like, I gotta hide my kids' eyes because yeah. I don't know what they got going on. Yeah. So and like, and not everybody's modest standards are the same as ours. Right. But they're still modest. They're modest. They're right. still like you're not going to see, see any of their revealing yeah. parts. You might. Yeah. We wear long sleeves or at least three quarter sleeves, and they might wear short sleeves, but it's still modestly. Yeah. Like, modestly covered. It's covered. Yeah. So I yeah. think. And if you see us all, Pentecostals in general, even if we're on the beach mm -hmm. or I mean, swim park, working out, working out, uh, we dress. It's not like outside, you know, yeah. I know a lot of people that are like modest when they're like, well, when we go to the beach, we wear bathing suits, and I'm like, like really? You wear your modest? Like that's not modest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or even like uh, other people that don't like wear the skirts or whatever, mm -hmm. they dress. Decently and modest in public, but then when they're like, "Oh yeah, I'm going to the beach," and they just mm -hmm. throw in a baby baby yeah. suit. Baby. We're we're just as modest. Like if we don't believe yeah. in showing our elbows, we don't show our elbows at the beach. We don't yeah. show our knees at the yeah. beach. We we don't, that, even if we're our own vacation too. Yeah, like, we don't mm -hmm. just, just because we're on vacation means we, we can put yeah. our Pentecostal down and then just go show up and do that. No, we take our stuff modestly, seriously, and not so seriously like we're you know all angry or just it's starchy, about, starchy it. about it yeah. <laughs> yeah but we're you know we we live it modestly and live it happily yeah you know? and so like if you see us working out the gym we're not going to be in a like you were saying we yeah, dress tank out, top tank or, or the what is it the sports bras and oh, the sports little bitty short, short yeah, yeah yeah that's what i was looking for we're not going to be dressed like at that so yeah. if your husband sees us at the gym and there's plenty of yeah. uh, modest uh, uh, sports stuff. Oh out yeah! There. So now like, we got it made. When yeah. I was in high school. I don't know. Back then, I think I just wore like <laughs> stretchy <laughs> skirts. Yeah, stretchy think. skirts from Walmart, and then like, uh, well, that back then I was wearing like just t-shirts. Mm -hmm. So like, that's what I was wearing. Yeah, like the same thing. But now they got it, like all these stuff. And I'm yeah. like, where was that? When I was in <laughs> like, like, oh, all, right, all these cute little yeah. skirts and stuff, man. Yeah. Yeah, but that, we get we got it. Got it covered. We're yeah. kind of rising up saying, hey, if there's a need for that, we're going to take care of it. So, mm -hmm. we, yeah, our modesty, I think we do. We got that down. Yes. Another thing for Pentecost that we, I feel like we do well is speaking cleanly. And that uh, that always includes whether we're working on a job in, or we're at home or with friends, just anywhere. We, you won't hear us talk. Say, 
like talk dirty or cuss or anything like that. Yeah, uh, and I think like to ex elaborate, like what we listen to is usually is clean, clean too. Yeah. So like if you come, if your child sends your child to my home, mm -hmm. you're not worried about them. Yeah, yeah I'm not worried about them hearing anything or anything. Yeah, yes. out of my mouth or out what yeah. I'm listening to or anything like yeah. that. Like yeah. our music, we yeah. listen to our music, music is pretty. Real clean. I hope. <laughs> yeah, and I, I think even like I'm gonna say across the board. I don't know how everybody listens. I think some people in my country. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I feel like I've heard some people act like they do, but they, even that they try to do it like the clean. The clean. But for but us, for us we, don't, we don't even listen we don't to anything listen to the country. other than gospel yeah. Christian like, music. And we, it's not to say that we made by a book and it may have a cuss word in it, but we're. We don't make, we don't like throw it to our kids and be like, here, read this. Oh, yeah. You know? But like, we're clean about it. We're like, and if I've ever listened to anything that I think might not be like, if I'm listening to a book or a podcast or something that might have stuff, I'm like, yeah. I'm, I always put my earbud in yes. so that my kids yes, don't hear same that. Same thing. Yeah. I don't, and I typically like, like try crime, not. Yeah. I, we don't, I don't let my kids hear that. So I usually, like, if I'm cleaning, that's where I, I put it in my ear. But like, for the most part, I don't let them listen. That, Which I typically try not to even list them that if yeah. I know that they're going to yes. be that way. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think you're, we got clean coming out. If you yeah. see us or if you hear us speak. I, like I was so thankful because I found I was telling Natalie about a book which we talked about at the start yeah. of the summer our summer goes and it had the I was like I'm so excited about this book because it's the stuff I like but it's yeah. clean and I'm like you can good I like yeah. that because yeah. I don't even want to participate now I don't even like reading books that are clean yeah that are you know and I don't like listening to it like I don't you, like you hear it and it like registers yes yeah so um, I think generally we're gonna be yeah like even yeah. just telling a story just anybody or telling a joke we're clean about it we're not yeah going to you know have dirty jokes yeah or, mm -hmm. so um, another one that I thought of, of just Pentecostals in general we're not flashy in every in our everyday life we're not flashy about things um, now that goes to where like we're not um, how do you say it? Uh, just because we're Pentecostal, we're not gonna rub it in your face and be like, you know, we're better than you. We're not. We're not in that way. We're not flashy about in our, you know, just our material things as well as our uh, physical things. Mm -hmm. So um, we tend to try to go with that verse of like, don't adorn yourself in costly arrays yeah. and all that stuff. And that's where we really do try to do that. Mm -hmm. And because I know like some people are like, oh, well, that was, what's costly to me may not be costly to you. So right. you can't really look at something yeah. on the price tag of it, but it's just like, in general, you're not going to be like, we're going to be like all in your all face things. with yeah, all with, these. Yeah, all these things that we got, you know. Just, yeah, it's just, we try to live modestly, try, modestly more than yeah. just, we're trying to be modest and more than just like how we dress. We try to be modest in like what we have yeah. and things of that nature. Yeah. So yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, so another one that I think we do well is that we try to live by the verse of like our body's a temple mm -hmm. and so we try not to put harmful things in our body so right. we don't drink alcohol, yeah. we don't smoke, we're yeah. not taking drugs. Yeah, we don't oh. even do any like tattoos or oh, anything. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we understand like before you came in to God that we know that yeah, you Yeah, we're not saying you yeah. come walk into a Pentecostal yeah. church and see no tattoos. Yeah. You might, but we're not adding any more to our yeah. body. Yeah. So we, we do that well. We try to take care of ourselves. Um, we try to, uh, you know, we're like not drinking, not smoking. Even like in drugs, we, we're not taking just straight up yeah. street drugs. Right. But even in medication, like medication, we yeah. try to be conservative on yeah. how we do that. Yes. We try to not just like take medicine, 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 and not even believe that God can heal us. Yes, we try. We want yeah. God to know that we we know that He can heal us. So let's go and ask God first and let him do his thing. And then now if we need something, it's not to say that we, we can't take anything. We can take however many it says on that bottle for what your age is and then go from there and still continue to pray that God will heal you, heal you or help you with whatever you're going yeah, through. Yeah, so we, we try to go hand in hand. We're not saying um, you can't have any help with a doctor or anything that's yeah. wrong. Yeah. We just try not to overtake it. We try not to... If every single day, oh, I gotta take a towel. Oh, I gotta take it. Um, yeah. Something just doesn't. We try to be like very. And if, if I have a headache, I try to. I'll wait it out, yeah. or I'll take a nap before yeah. I even try something extra. Yeah. That's so like, what, 
it, and this goes to like with my um, when I had Bell's palsy, I had like I felt so much pain and pressure on my face, and I was taking uh, I think it's ibuprofen or naproxen. I think it's kind of the same thing. I don't know. I remember, it, but um, I would take one one a day, but at the third day, I was like, I got to a point where like, I don't want to keep taking this. And it, it just kind of subsided the pain and then come back that evening, have to take another one. So I kind of quit just, I, I got took at least one throughout the day, which I think would take two or three every four hours. I only took one throughout the day. But at the third day, I was like, you know what? I said, my face is feeling okay. I think I can go without any medicine throughout the whole day. And that, I, and I did, I, it was fine. After the third day, it was fine. It wasn't hurting as much, you know, and it was fine. So, like, that kind of gives you, like, a, an example of, like, okay, we're going to take medication, but we're also going to, you know, pray about it and make be, sure you and be wise, be wise about, about it. it. If we just try to be mindful about what we're putting in our bodies. Yeah. And uh, whether that's how we drink, mm -hmm. do anything, we try not to eat in excess. Yeah. We try, you know, we try Yeah, to and even, like, um when we do communion we don't drink wine and i know that there's other churches that do this and that's your church that's your thing but for us and what our, you know even our pastor has said it you know as far as like drinking wine for him he doesn't want to do that because he doesn't want to tempt somebody that wasn't an alcoholic to go back to that mm -hmm. he wants to make sure that you know he's not offering that wine to him and then it was because of then that he took that sip and then he went back to being alcoholic. Yeah, because I heard people like, this is a little off awesome, subject, but like they got off drugs and then they took like a something at the dentist gave them and then it just like and triggered, it, triggered it, it and it and it was completely innocent and they were doing what was right but it just triggered something yeah. and then they just got mm -hmm. right back to it. So. so that's one thing as far as an example of being clean. Yeah, uh, we, we do try to. Your body and stuff. Try to be as good to our bodies as we yeah. can. Um, another one is being a good citizen and that's always that involves in a lot of things and that one of them is really obeying the laws around you wherever you're at you know mm -hmm. obeying the laws obey the officer of the law that's there you know even if you get pulled over <laughs> yeah kids I feel like some people think oh, well I serve the Lord and that but in the Bible it does say that you've got to respect the laws mm -hmm. of your land unless they start going against it like right. what what we're, we're, we're taught yes. to do mm -hmm. and so that like we got to obey the law, so that's, we're going to be good citizens because we're obeying the law. We try not to mm -hmm. be out, we're not going to be like stealing, right. uh, yeah. causing just mayhem. Vandalizing, mm -hmm. we're not going to be doing all that. Yeah, um, again, let's go ahead and say this. There might You might know a Pentecostal person that's mm -hmm. done it, Yeah. but in general, overall, we're going to be good citizens. Good we're not going to be in jail. Yeah. I said that. My husband has been in jail one time. <laughs> so somebody might be like looking at us. It was a complete mistake. <laughs> it was not his fault. It was crazy though. Let me just randomly tell the story yeah, just because I think it's funny. Yeah. All right. So my husband got a ticket. Yeah, I'm telling him we're opening stuff. So. No, like he had a gun and it didn't have the right thing. So a uh, he was out duck hunting. Oh, okay. And like, uh, what are those people called that? Patrol for land. Uh, uh, game warden. Yeah. And the game warden came back and he's like, hey, you don't have that thing on your gun right. Like, that's not proper. And my husband was like, oh, okay. And so he wrote him a ticket because he didn't yeah. have it right. right. So my husband, you know, he, he didn't try to shoot the guy. Right. <laughs> you know, that's just part of it. So he's like, I don't know if he didn't realize it. I think he said it was fine what he had. Like, I think they can't have so many bullets or something. I don't know. What he said, he said it was right, but he just didn't have the right piece or something. Okay. So he got a ticket for it. Yeah. I put, mailed in the ticket. I know he paid this ticket. So yeah. I mailed in the ticket. They sent me a letter back saying, hey, we don't take personal checks. You have to do it with the money order. Okay. So I mailed it back in. Okay. I don't know if I mailed it in too late or what happened, but he got pulled over for not paying that ticket. So he had an outstanding oh, ticket, yeah. even though okay. I know he did not yeah. pay it because right. I paid it for him. Right. And so, yes, that's why he got arrested. Wow. So if y'all see a nutshell of my husband, <laughs> that's the long story short. So he is an upstanding citizen and he don't usually get thrown in jail. However, that time he did. I think it might have been my fault. That was a good story. Yeah. I just think it's not really relevant, but it's quite funny. So maybe right. if they are, like, if you do see the girl because Oh, my God, that's why. It was completely innocent. <laughs> 
No, um, like, but, you know, he wasn't really out just... Right. He, and I we're guess. not going to be, like you said, he's not going to be angry just because the law pulled him over and then start shooting him. We don't Yeah, do like, he had a gun, so yeah. if he was a stroke criminal, he could have been, like, yeah. you know... Um, gang warrants have, like, dangerous jobs because people are that way. Yeah. Um, but we pay our taxes. Mm -hmm. We do the same as everybody else. We, you know, we obey the law. We pay our taxes. We... Um, pay for really anything that we got that's ours we pay for it you know we yeah. uh, take care of it um, like if we're breaking a law it's very unintentional like we don't yeah. realize which that's not an excuse and you can still get taken for it yeah. but that's our thing like we try to obey mm -hmm. the laws of the land yes. in every aspect mm -hmm. so we're going to be upstanding citizens and in general we're going to help some people are going to be yeah. Yeah. And, and you and can trust us you're not going to have to yeah. worry about us just clacking your right um we're also going to talk about things that uh, as pentecostals i feel like we could or we feel like we could improve and that includes us so for me i think a thing that all of us can improve at is because like around here i don't know if it's like this area or just Pentecostals in general because I feel like I've heard it they'll be like well you see them at Walmart and they look like they're mad at the world oh, yeah. and like they always just they look so happy and all my life like I've always just thought in my head like well who's just so happy to be at Walmart like what am I supposed to do walk around Walmart with a big smile on my yeah. face that would be really weird so the, I've always tried to have like when people say that I'd be like well, Pentecostals are not I mean would you smile at them but I heard a message from Brother Yoder, and he says, you're riding for the brand. Mm -hmm. And that means, like, you're Pentecostal, so you're part of this brand. So there's got to be a little bit of difference in you. So whatever you're doing is affecting the whole, the whole unit yeah. kind of thing. Even, like, and, people that don't know me. Yeah, so I was like, I have a different mindset. So now when I go to Walmart, I don't just, like, walk around with a big grin on my face. So don't get me. But if I see someone, like, if I'm passing someone out, I try to be like, okay, I'll do it. And just try to be friendly. friendly. Even I though, usually smile and be like, yeah. I might give a head nod, like, hello. You know? and yeah, and I, like, before that, I, I didn't really think about it. I'm just like, probably, would you see me? You're thinking, like, yeah, you I was all that probably happy. Like, yeah, and like, I think. I was backwards, so, like, probably wouldn't <laughs> see me smiling a whole lot, but. But, like, I think uh, Pentecostals in general, like, when we're out in public, we're not really thinking about how other people are looking at us, mm -hmm. and so yeah. we can be a little bit like grouchy. Yeah. Or, you let you let <laughs> your mood. Yeah, that's that's a problem. Cause we just have a face like if I'm not smiling, like if I'm just sitting here, mm -hmm. I look like I'm not happy, even yeah. though I'm not even thinking about. And she's happy. probably just speaking. My husband literally asks me all the time, "So what's wrong with you?" I'm like, <laughs> last night I was just sitting. I was just trying to think of like things for the podcast. I was literally just kind of like. Let my mind kind of rest just, and just kind of, kind of wander. Yeah, I'm just like thinking, like, not, not of anything particular. So you just like just want to ask what yeah. you think. You're like, oh, nothing. And he asked me like three times, like, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? There is nothing wrong with you, <laughs> but I'm getting out of right now. Hey, I do. I do. <laughs> Uh, say that to my husband too because there's times where like he'll sit there but he'll sometimes he'll be on his phone but I'm like are you okay and he's like yeah what I'm yeah. like well it's like your face your face kind of expressing like you're either worried or just grouchy well, I, I'm not being grouchy I'm not even in a bad mood but like I have to be aware of that when I'm in public now yeah. and I think at Pentecostal as a whole because sometimes I'll see a Pentecostal person and they're like and like and just ooh. yeah, and they're like got a grouchy look, yeah. it's, and they might not be, but I'm like. Mm. And then sometimes I know. I'm, I'm not saying like you have to be fake in public, sometimes. but you do have to be aware. Yeah, um, I know sometimes that you're trying to dodge somebody that you don't want them to see you, and like either your hair's kind of crazy or you know your outfit's not right. But um, I've done that. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I've done that. Um, but I probably shouldn't, just because you know you should be friendly to even like. The friends that you do make at church, you should be friendly. Yeah, so I because mean, I'm guilty, that's why I'm saying we can improve. I've yeah, seen other people, I've, 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 I've done it myself. That area. Yes, yes, so I think that's an area we can improve at. Um, another thing that we, I feel like, as a whole Pentecost group, that we could improve of is um, accepting those that come into church, um, not like like be friendly i guess like be more friendly to even those that don't have uh, or that just came in or those that have just gotten started 
Um, because, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, like, like, if someone comes in and they, they just start and they wear a short skirt. Yeah, and, like. We have a tendency to be like, you, 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 you prayed last night. You really need to get your standards. Yeah, together. right. And it does, it's like, standards just not happen overnight. You know, and yes. that goes with what you said a while back in one of our episodes that we talked about is that our pastor wants them to hear it and eventually get it in their hearts. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, even though there will be others that come in the church and have booty shorts on, a tank top, you know, we're not going to be like, oh, this is our self Yeah, but we're I know We're going to yeah. welcome them. We're going to yes. accept them. Be like, you know, how are you? You know, where are you from? Just be more friendly and open to the, those that come to yeah. the church. Yes. And I feel like I've been guilty. I know mm-hmm. that we as general, because I... Our pastor. Sometimes talks about a... Uh, a preacher that preached the message like he somehow he wants to smell cigarette smoke in the mm-hmm. church and people are like what but he's like if you're not smelling stuff if you're not seeing bad you're not getting saved and sinners right and so that's like a good like we have to be accepting of like somebody's coming in and i know before in my own head mm-hmm. i had somebody like a newer saint come in and say something and i'm like why would you think that yeah or why would you say like that's what instead of being just, like realize okay they don't have that concept or whatever and it's a even if they've been in for five years but they come from the world they might not have that that like an understanding yeah what. and so i feel like we give people and generally like pentecostal mm-hmm. general, we give them a certain time frame like that first few months we might be accepting, accepting like you were saying yeah. but after that it's like, it's like you should got it right. together yeah i should have got it together but no yeah it's so yeah happening. we do need to improve on that yeah. you're and right and like recently there is a lady at our church that came through and she 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 you know she came through and she's prayed she's got baptized and she testified the other day and was like you know how friendly the church was how people just came up to her and just hugged her and you know was talking to her about rent you know just random things but like i even did that like i went like i'm I was backwards so like i went to her and hugged her and asked how she was and i think she had to work one day or sunday or i realized that she wasn't coming sunday night so i went up to her and i said oh do you do you work on sunday nights you know she was like yeah you know working trying to figure out where I can come, you know, two, two times on, the, on Sunday. And I was like, well, I'll be praying for you, hoping that'll work yeah. out, you know. And You're so good. I, I, like, I struggle. It's like, I'm not I mean, backwards. I too. I I'm too. not backwards, but I do struggle going up mm-hmm. to and like starting conversation like that. Yeah. No, I like, struggle too. You. Like yeah, it took me a minute. Back. I'm like, what should I talk to her about? Like, I mean, but then I'm like, I realized that she wasn't coming that Sunday night. Yeah. So I'm like that. I was like, oh, you know, you working anywhere and stuff. So that's kind of how... Um, I'm trying to be a little bit more out because I remember when we first came to like different churches there for a little bit. I, I mean, I, I, did, I was a shy person then, didn't want to talk to people, but they were willing to come to me and be like, how are you? What's your name? You know, mm-hmm. kind of be friendly to me. And recently there was a girl that commented on there that remembers my face. Oh yeah, I yeah. love this story. Remember my face. And she said it was a camp meeting and I believe I remember you. Um, that I was friendly to her and she, she was you know, like a new convert. Yeah, she was time. a new convert at the time and she remembers me coming to her and welcoming her and just kind of talking to her because, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of people that was talking to her. So I came to her and started talking, even though I, I mean, I'm backwards, but I, I'm still going to push myself through that. Just yeah, kinda. you're like preaching at me. So yes, <laughs> I, yeah, I'm guilty of that. So I'm very guilty of that. I feel like that. that's one, one way that we, as a Pentecostal, Pentecostal we can do better at hi guys so i know i'm jumping in in the middle of the podcast but when natalie and i started recording this podcast we had no idea how long it was going to be and it ended up being over an hour long so we decided we was going to break it up into two parts so this is part one of our episode today and we hope you enjoyed listening to it and to stay tuned until next week when we finish up our discussion about the pentecostal lifestyles our likes or what we're doing well versus what we can improve on and our take on that So as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below, and we will see you next week with our part two. Bye.